Look at this. It's just like chicken tender. It wraps up so well. Alright, so I just got done bass fishing. And I am burnt. But I'm not done fishing yet, okay? That is because I'm going to do me some bullhead fishing. We used to fish off of this dock right here. And catch a bluegill, cut the head, and drop it in here. There are some nice bullheads in here, hopefully. So, let's see what happens. I also got some night crawlers too, but most of them come from bluegill heads. So we're actually gonna tie a weight on here. Might have to redo this one. Just soaking baits, sitting back, relax, maybe talk to you guys. enjoy the weather you know I mean, there are some giant like big bullheads out here I caught one that was probably like 12 inches and it was fat as heck that was midsummer right now it's late summer so we'll see what happens we shall see I got one got yes oh no it popped off ah it's a little guy He wasn't that big, but he took it. Dang. Little bullhead. I thought he was big, he was running with it. You know? Okay, okay. They're here. I thought it was a big bullhead because like my rod started like twitching real hard. And then it started going down. So I'm like, oh, this guy's got it. I set the hook and it was just a little guy. Oh, well, you know. Bowhead fishing isn't hard at all. <laughs> uh, let's see. Patiently waiting. Maybe when the sun goes down. It's 5.38. Still got like an hour 30 minutes left. Got him. Oh. Nice. Okay. It's not that big, but it'll do. Relax. It's not a giant. Oh my god, you get all the things up. It's not a giant, but three of these will take it. Oh yes, nice. What the heck you were out there? Oh he swallowed it. Dude, the bait is in his stomach. What the heck? Okay, he's gotta go. Oh chill, 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 chill. Relax. I walk away and my freaking bait's like going off. Oh, he ate my, oh, I was going to say he ate my tungsten too. <laughs> Alright, so I got the bullhead in here. It's not a giant, but like I said, three or four of those would be a good meal. But now we got to catch more bluegills before it gets too dark. I'm a bit concerned because there's bubbles going back and forth. And I think those are turtles. So, hopefully it's not a turtle taking my bait. <laughs> we'll see. As it gets later, the bite should pick up. So, fingers crossed we get a big one. We'll see. I think this one's on. I think something's touching this one. Something's touching it. Oh, please don't be a turtle. Big old bullhead. Let's go. Oh my god, it's huge. Yes! <laughs> Dude, he's massive. Oh my gosh. You can see that thing? That thing is huge, dude. Yeah, we swallowed it, so it's gonna cut the line. Keep. Oh, dude, he's massive. Holy cow. 
Look at this thing. Tell me this is not a big freaking boy, dude. Look how big he is. My goodness. Same film in my bucket. Gosh, that's huge. I'm using all my wacky hooks, but it's okay. We'll dig them out later when we cut them. That's another nice one. Yes. <laughs> Gosh, dude. What the heck? Yes. They're coming in. They're coming in hot. I didn't think I was going to succeed, but I kept trying. Chill, chill, relax. Relax. They got their stingers are a lot sharper than, uh, what do you call it? Catfish. It's like thinner. So, nice. Let me go right here. Right here. Swallow my hook this time. Let me see if they can. Dude, they got some sharp freaking teeth, man. Oh, yeah, they locked their jaw right. Throw it in here. Fish fried. Mom warning. Dang. Come on, just one more bullhead. One giant one. Give me a big one. Give me a big one. Oh, here we go, here we go. He's on it. Dude, thing's huge. Oh my gosh. Thing's massive. <laughs> what the heck, dude? They're huge. I just knew it was gonna come in clutch. Nice. Got another one. That's a nice one, dude. Jeez, they're freaking massive. Gosh. Dude, these bullheads are huge, man. Gosh. Hold on, hold on. Chill, chill, relax, relax. Dude, it's called another giant. My God, they're freaking huge, dude. Hold on, guys. Hold on. It's another nice one. So big, dude, it's crazy. Wow. Oh, did nothing take. Ah, shit, they got big. It's time to go. Alright, so. Put all the big ones on top. I got this little one in here. So put this in perspective, right? This one is like your average size, everyday bull. I was gonna say bullfin, uh, bullhead, right? Look at these. <laughs> They're the size of my cutting board. They're huge. Here you go. Here's a perspective right here. They're freaking massive. Look at this. 
Look at the head on that thing. Insane. It's crazy. And these two are like the, you know, again, a little bit above average. But these are still good eating. But compared to these three right here, holy smoke, they're huge. Look at this guy. He got a nice back. Nice back to it. Oh, and his lips. So if you guys are wondering how to tell like a catfish, a channel catfish, flathead to a bullhead, just look at them. Obviously they're not as big, but you can tell by the head and the body and the tail. See the tail right there? So channel, their tail is more like a like a you know two triangle. This is more like a flat round tail, almost like a flathead. But they're just not as big. And they're very discolored too. Depending where you catch them, like sometimes, look at this one. It's like white, right? And I caught these in the dark weeds. They're just pure muscle. I know they look ugly, but they're very underrated fish and they're delicious. They taste, they're less fishier than like most fish on a freshwater system. But I like eating them. They're good. One more thing too, for some reason bullheads, there's spike here, there's stinger. These are not the stinger, these are just whiskers. But this stuff right here, for some odd reason, their stinger is a lot sharper, a lot thinner, very consistent. Like they, they can poke you if you put enough pressure to it. It vibrates or something like that. And it'll, obviously this guy's kind of almost a goner, but yeah, if you touch this with more like enough pressure, it'll go right through your skin like a needle. So like this guy right here, he's still awake. So if you put enough pressure on that, oh yeah, it'll go right through your skin. I already got poked by my knuckle, but it's okay. Again, these are not stingers. As you can see, I can touch them. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. <laughs> Don't touch their mouth either. They lock. But how you hold them is you pinch it from their neck right here. Or you can grab them like in three. Just like that, okay? Get your finger between their fins. Just look how fat they are. It's insane. I'm going to fillet them. Do a little like B-roll, snip snips, cut cut. You guys don't need to see the whole thing. I don't want to get flagged for it, so stay tuned. Gill it, let them bleed out, and we'll be back in like, I don't know, five, ten minutes. All right, so it's been a good uh, ten minutes. They should all be dispatched. I'm wearing gloves because I just got done showering. So as you can see, ta-da, I think they're dead. Yeah, I think it's dead from the eye I think it's dead so look how big and around they are like, it's crazy look at all that meat ah thing kind of poked me look at this guy this guy's huge it's massive sorry terrible so fat all right so we're gonna go ahead and fillet them a big boy Wow, the meat is so white. It's not like catfish where it's yellow and fatty, you know? Holy smoke, that's clean. I'll show you guys, hold on. So just look at that. Just compared to channel cat, that's white. Like that's some clean meat. Of course, it's from bleeding them too for like five, 10 minutes, but look at how amazing that is. Look at that. Tell me that's not clean. It's amazing. It. And then from here on out, you guys know the process. I'm just gonna flay them, throw them in a what do you call it bowl here, clean it up, and then we're gonna freeze it for tomorrow morning breakfast. I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit here, stir it to dissolve the salt. It's gonna sit for, I don't know, 10 minutes. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but clean, dirty, clean, dirty. You see all that nice slime, well not nice, but dirty slime comes up to the surface. Down here, the meat, whoa, look at that. 
it's nice and fresh and clean look at the cloud yep and then you we're just gonna rinse it out with cold water it should be good to go into the freezer it goes but just it's 10 45 now so for the next what eight hours nine hours then we're gonna cook them so i'll see you guys tomorrow morning all right guys so it is the next morning the food is defrost sorry if you guys can hear the air conditioner music in the background but it's defrost we're going to lay them out dry them out and we're going to batter it uh, you want to dry them out as much as you can because you don't want the oil to catch it oil oil and water don't mix we are using two eggs when I was at Walmart, of course, the good old New Orleans fish fry, that's all they got. They have anything else, so. Two should be enough. So that's what it looks like. Sorry for the fan noise, but that's what it is right there. Bullhead an egg and the fish fry mix shake it around, massage it just tighten it up that way you know, it's nice and compressed against each other just for a little bit here we go. It's a little awkward, so I apologize. Shee! Look at that. Look at that. Do another one. Do another one for you guys. Oh. Do another one. Oh man, look at that. And it just like thickens up. All right, from the looks of it, let me shut this off. From the looks of it, should be ready. Nice and crispy, look at that. Wow. Look at that, that's nice. Dude, they're like chicken tenders, you guys see that? Chicken tenders, look at this. You wouldn't even know, nobody would know. Man, it's nice. The last piece, big old chunk. Oh, it's nice. Now we just let it rest. All right, y'all. We got the tartar sauce here, of course. Ooh, -wee. look at that! Look at that! All right, but we're gonna try it without, without the tartar sauce first. So hold on. Oh, I'm alive. Yes, this is me. You guys are questioning if it was me, huh? But look at that. That is, I gotta hide my face. There you go. Bowhead meat. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Super crunchy. Let me guys can hear this. Hold on. Hi, there we go. Yeah. You guys hear that? Mmm. Delicious, just by itself. So good. Mm -mm. Tartar sauce. Oh man, I love tartar sauce. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, so good. Just absolutely amazing. Mac is delicious. <laughs> oh, dude, bullhead meat is delicious. My goodness. Mm. What I like to do is make sriracha with poison, the garlic poison. It's really good. 
this sauce, you can never go wrong. Oh man, I love, like I said, I love this sauce right here. Check it out. Oh my goodness. Sweet and spicy. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. My goodness. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <sighs> I sure did. It was delicious. It was so good. So crunchy, not gamey, not catfishy, if that makes any sense. Hands down. Delicious. Like, I just want to keep eating. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe. Like, and I'll see you guys on the water.